Welcome to another Mod Central modding tutorial video. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to revive your controllers, make them look brand new. So, let's get started. This is a brand new Microsoft Xbox 360 wireless controller. Now, obviously, wired, wireless, the only difference is the back and the top piece, uh, this top trim in here. Everything else on a wired and wireless controller is exactly the same and interchangeable from the buttons to the triggers to the actual bumpers. Only this little piece in the middle and, and the back shell is the only difference between a wired and wireless controller. So, today I'm going to show you guys how to convert old shells laying around to brand new shells and I'm also going to show you how to revive your shells to look brand new as well so let's get started I have three shells sitting here I have a this is an old beat up shell I don't know if you guys can really tell you can kinda of see the dirt in here and the dirt in here and you can kind of see the dirt inside the ring and I've got some dirt on the shell uh, the start the numbers kind of have embedded grime in them so what I'm going to do is is I'm going to just take a plain baby wipe you can use pretty much anything you want from Clorox wipes to you know, pretty much anything you want to clean your shell. I mean, put them in the dishwasher if you want. It really doesn't matter. Just let them go on a cycle, and they will pretty much get clean. So, I'm using white shells because this is the most dramatic difference between a old shell and a brand new looking shell. And these are some probably the best kept secrets in the modding industry. Uh, major game modding companies like, well, I don't even want to name our competition, but major game modding companies use these tricks to fix controller shells, revive controller shells, refurbish controller shells, reuse controller shells, whatever. You know, I mean, there are a lot of companies out there, including ourselves, that have just tons of shells laying around you know back when we started modding back in 2006 there was really only white controllers out there and of course third-party shells came out and we decided to sell those but we still needed to get a hold of actual controller boards you can't just buy controller boards so we had to buy white controllers and take the boards out of them and then put them in the uh, third-party shells and then as Microsoft released different color shells we would buy a ton of black or a ton of white <coughs> excuse me whatever it may be in order to meet the demands of our customers for modding a controller so we were left over with a ton of shells and also doing like mail-in mods where people wanted to replace their shells and we would take their old shell off and instead of throwing them away we just put them in a big box and they'd accumulate and we have all these old crappy shells laying around I mean this isn't anything really but you can see keep a whole box of shells around and you just accumulate that just happens to be box of shells from what I took apart today so anyway taking my time here cleaning this but and you might want to get a toothbrush for these start select number things if you want to really get the grime out of them Anyways, I 
And you can see this little mark up here on the shell. It's got some embedded grime in it. Just kind of And what I'm going to do is <clears throat> this is really just something I'm going to add. I'm just going to take a little piece of sandpaper and I'm just going to kind of sand that area right there. Just very light, fine grit sandpaper, nothing too heavy. Bam. As you can see. That whole little bump is gone and the grime is gone. So, not perfect. Hold on. use too heavy of a sandpaper, you'll actually ruin the contours of the shell and leave some scrapes in it, which can show up when you go to do the repair on the shell. Anyways, um, see over here, there's some, like, tape on the shell. Might want to use your nail. Really scrub that to get it off. And it's the best it's going to get. I'm actually going to take my piece, uh, piece of really fine sandpaper and just go over that area. And I got that tape off. And you can see the little difference. I mean, you can see the difference of from where the sandpaper was just rubbed. Very, very fine grit sandpaper. And that's it. So, I mean, this shell looks pretty much, I don't want to say brand new, but it looks great. But it still has some marks in it, and it still has some really, I mean, like right here, you could see some embedded dirt right where my nail is right there. See it? It just doesn't come out, no matter how much you scrub it. I mean, even if I put it in the dishwasher, it's not going to come out. So, just clean them the best you can. And the next step is going to be revitalizing these shells. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys the magic. This is, this is definitely magic. Alright, so anyway, here's a shell that we just cleaned. Here's another used shell. This one I cleaned before the video started. And... You can kind of see right down here, I mean, it's still got some scrapes in it, some like very, very fine scrapes right here, and overall, I'm, <clears throat> this shell's got a nice texture to it, it's not smooth, uh, although smooth shell's not a problem either, but this shell's still got a lot of matte finish to it, and feels very good, feels almost not used but I mean I could tell you this was dirtier than the other shell before the video started so I just wanted to have one that was already cleaned and believe it or not I know this looks brand new and it looks like we just took it off of a brand new controller but this is actually a white shell so I'm going to show you how to turn these into this. Nice, brand new black shells. And you can do this with any color shell. If you've got uh, a red shell or a green shell, it doesn't matter what color shell you have. You guys can do it with any color shell. Here's a red shell. doesn't really matter what color the shell is. So anyway, like I showed you guys in the beginning of the video,
brand new Microsoft controller and brand new looking top shell and some old shells so let's show you how it works here is the trick and this is what you need Duplicolor vinyl and fabric spray coating it's for dashboards, door panels, seats, carpet easy to apply creates a new look this stuff is made for plastic it's not paint it's not it's not dye it's not clear coat it's a vinyl and fabric spray this is the same stuff that you would spray your dashboard with or your car seats with if they were like a vinyl material to revitalize them so let's pull these two shells out get rid of my display board and you'll have to excuse the mess but I don't have a spray bin so I use the inside of a garbage can it works great uh, granted, mine's a little high because I got a lot of trash in it, but still, it really does work very, very well. Now, this shell is the shell that I had before the video, and this is the shell that we cleaned. Oh, no, this is the shell that I had before video, and this is the shell that we cleaned on video. Okay, so we're going to take that shell. Put that right there. First you want to do the inside of the shell. And the reason you want to do the inside of the shell is because you want to get it in here and it really doesn't matter in here and here because you don't see that, but you want to get the inside portions of this rim because if you only do the outside when you put the shell together you're going to have a little bit of white or whatever color shell you were using showing through when you put the two halves together. And you could do this with a back shell too. Um, I'll show that on another video. But let's start with this one. And I'm also going to pause the video after we're done because obviously we're going to let it dry and I want you to see what it looks like. And I don't want you to sit here while it dries and watch it, so... Okay. So you want to do the inside first. All right, here we go. Notice I'm just really getting around the lips, getting in the inside of the holes. Okay. Done. You really don't have to worry about overspray with, with the inside of the shell. It's not going to create any dripping effect. But, you do need to be careful with the outside of the shell. So if you give me one second, I'll flip this over. Okay, so we flip the shell over. It took quite a while because I didn't want to get any paint or anything on me, and it was super wet, but anyway. when you spray the top. You don't want to do long steady streams that create puddles. Just enough. That's that. So, now that that's done, we're going to let it dry. We're going to take a look at it. Now, 
here's a shell that we just did, back, a back shell. Now, I know you, could, you can kind of see dark spots and light spots. The first time it dries, you're going to kind of get these spots, and it's going to dry pretty quick. I mean, these things, they this vinyl dye dries in about 5 to 10 minutes to the point where you can hold it like this. Um, you can still kind of get some paint on your hands if there's any, like, gooey spots. Like right here, you can kind of see a gooey spot right there where it would kind of oversprayed. And I'm sure you could see at the bottom here, um, we didn't fully cover the bottom part of the battery cover. And of course, that can be remedied on a second pass. So, might as well, since we've got it open. Done. Let's let that dry now. I'm sure you could see that this is already drying, and I'm sure you could see that it's already got light spots forming on it. See? So, let's give it another pass. Here's the shell that we that I already did before the video started. Safe while these are drying. Now we did a second spray on this one. Say it starts drying and you still see some light spots after a second coat. Like let's just say up in here you see a light spot. Or maybe you see some light spots over here. You don't have to spray the whole controller. Just take your vinyl spray and just give it a coat right over where it is and let it dry. I can assure you, after, don't, don't call them coats, but after a quick spray over of the area that seems to be lighter than the rest, after maybe two, three, four times tops, it'll all blend together. And as you can see, there isn't a single light spot on this. It looks like an official black shell. And this stuff doesn't come off. You know... You could play with this for the, for the longest time, and it'll never reveal the white underneath. Now, granted, you could scrape it really hard with your nail, or you could scrape it with a knife or something like that. And here, let me demonstrate. Here. I rubbed away the black, but I mean, you could also see that I'm actually physically cutting the shell. You know, just rubbing this, even rubbing a, a razor. You know, I mean, here I cut it, but I mean, I've been rubbing across the whole thing. Really doesn't reveal that much. So, as long as you don't drop these controllers, throw these controllers after you spray them, they will look this great. Now I've got one more controller I want to show you. This controller. There's the official back that was already black 
and there's the vinyl spray you can kind of see a slight difference but you really can't this controller I've probably gamed with it about 30 or 40 hours already a good week and a half six seven hour sessions of Call of Duty and you can see there isn't a single spot on this controller it's coming back and it looks just as as good as new granted I customized my controller okay um these are drying I mean here no paint. See how quick they dry? Well, I shouldn't call it paint. No dye. Now, after the second one, it looks de- up. Oh, see, I didn't get the whole thing. Haha, <laughs> look at that. Done. I'm just throw one more on this one since it's open. Okay. Let's let those dry again. And here's the other shell that we haven't touched yet, but we're going to leave that one untouched just for comparison. So, I'm going to pause here for now, and I will come back when these are perfectly dry. I'm going to let them dry a good half hour, and we'll take a look at them and see if they need one more coat of vinyl dye. I mean, obviously, in the 10 minutes that we've been doing it, we've given it two to three small coats. So, <clears throat> I mean, you guys can see that this stuff magically brings shells back to life. I can't wait to show you the end result. So, pause here, and I'll be back in a few. Okay, guys. I let them dry for about another ten minutes. I didn't wait the full half hour. Anyway, here's the back shell that we were working on. As you can see, there are no more light spots anywhere on it. It's all completely jet black. And just for comparison purposes, here's that brand new controller that I took out of the package. Light can be slightly tricky from the camera, but I'm sure you could see it's pretty much perfect. If there's a difference in the shading, it is so light you really can't even tell the difference. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure about this one because some of it still seems to be wet. Excuse me, I was just scraping the screw hole down here. I have some wet paint from the cap that kind of dried, but here you go. There are no more light spots on it. It is a completely black shell. 
that used to be white. Here. See the white that we didn't get with the spray? Because, like I said, it's really not important to get the inside. Just in the inner rings. Anything that can be seen from the outside, you want to get from the inside. Especially the lips of the controller shell. The cornerings over here, the rounded edges. Um, when you put a bottom trim in, You want to make sure, this is hard to do on camera, there we go, see how there's a lip or an edge, if you don't get all in there, that can look white, or whatever color shell you used before you sprayed it black, and it can look horrible. Excuse me. There we go. So, remember the old white shell? It is now a black shell and it looks brand new. Seamless. Just for the heck of it. Why am I spraying it one more time? I feel like it. Just to kind of show you guys again how to cover it. There you go. I'm going to let that dry. But it was already near perfect. I just am a perfectionist and I wanted... There was actually a one tiny little light spot over there and... I really didn't want to just spray that, so I wanted to spray the whole thing. So, that's what we did. So, it's all sprayed. It's all finished. Here's that back shell. I'm sure if you look down in the holes, you can kind of still see some white in there. It's really not a big deal once you put your screws in. That'll The black screws will take care of that. We also sprayed the inside. You don't have to worry about your battery cover messing any of this up. Not a good battery cover to demonstrate with. Here we go. Here's a rechargeable. Snap it in. Pull it out. That's not scrapings from the controller, that was just some excess plastic. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. There you go. Pop it in. Pull it out. It will not take off the paint. Well, excuse me, the dye.
So if you've got a bunch of old shells laying around that you want to revitalize or you just want a new look for your controller, you don't want to go spend $50 to go buy a brand new one, you want to bring it back to that out-of-the-box look, that's the way to go. Dupla color, vinyl and fabric. Now, one other thing, they do make other colors. They make dupla color red. And they make duplicolor gray. The red comes in a dark red and a light red. If you want to match the red that Microsoft controllers have, I would go with the lighter red. And the gray is just for fun. Here's a gray shell that we did. It has that matte feel to it. It doesn't feel like paint. You don't need a clear coat. Look at how nice that is. You've got a custom color that never came out. Now, that's the official Microsoft Red. And that's the Red that I used. It's close. Like I said, there's two types of red. You'll see them on the shelf if they're next to each other. Each, I mean, one's supposed to be a flat red, the other one's supposed to be a glossy red. But it's a vinyl spray and you're using it on plastic, so it really doesn't make much of a difference. Whoops, out of focus. There we go. So, you could see the difference really does a great job this was a white controller shell as well I'm sure you can kinda see the white on the inner parts of the shell that I missed you, know, you look inside the battery cover like down here and if you really want to concentrate on getting the vinyl spray in there make everything red you can I personally don't think it's a big deal oh look at that already dry what, what was it like four minutes Here we go. And you know what? Don't need the tripod. Stick it out. Let's explore them. There you go. There, there you go. go. I turned, turned off the light, light for a second. second. Just, Just want to use natural, natural light to kind of show you guys. If you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up. I'd be glad to answer any questions for you. Again, the stuff that you guys want to grab is duplicolor, vinyl, vinyl, and fabric coating. This stuff runs about seven bucks a bottle. 
and you can probably do about 10 shells with it, so it's about a dollar a shell. And that's both front and back. Now, there is one other thing I want to show you guys, and I didn't show you guys this at all, but... That is an official black shell. This shell was black. This is an official Microsoft black shell. Oh no, I'm sorry, this is not the one. Wait, I grabbed the wrong one. Yeah, nope, that's not it. Here we go. I got it. Sorry guys. That is an official Microsoft black shell. And you can see there isn't an ounce of white anywhere, or any other color for that matter. This is an official black shell, and this shell was devastated. It was like all scratched up, and we hit it with two coats of the vinyl fabric coating, and it looks. Can you tell the difference between the official black and the Microsoft official black and the white shell that we made black? I don't think so. Here we go. No difference at all. Thanks for watching, guys.